Good evening, and as the Commander-in-Chief of the United States was delivering his State of the Union, the military was preparing to test an intercontinental ballistic missile from a Southern California Air Force base. Now, it comes amid rising tensions between the United States and Russia after President Donald Trump's decision to pull out of a key nuclear weapons treaty. RT correspondent Sarah Montez de Oca joins me with all of the details. Sarah, this was a one thing the president left out of his speech last night. That's right, Scotty. Uh, the ICBM flew toward its destination of the Marshall Islands at over 15,000 miles per hour. Now, the unarmed missile hurtled across the Pacific Ocean before splitting into three parts, with a final mock warhead flying to the islands 4,200 miles away. The test comes just less than a week after President Trump pulled out of the Cold War era Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Now, the Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile blasted out of its silo from the Vandenberg Air Force Base, spewing fire and smoke. Tuesday's test was a routine one and the third launch of its kind just this year. Now, these test launches are carried out to test its capabilities and used to collect information about the weapon's accuracy and their reliability. And although weapons like the ICBM were not banned under the INF Treaty, this still comes at an interesting time. Now, fears are growing over a new global arms race and the race between U.S. allies and China to dominate the waters of the Pacific Rim and the South China Sea. But an arms race with China carries its own risks for Washington, as Beijing remains the most important partner in negotiating denuclearization with Kim Jong-un's North Korea. Earlier this year, Kim Jong-un paid a visit to China, where he met with Chinese President Xi Jinping in an effort to win Chinese support for scaling back some UN sanctions. For the first time in his New Year's speech, Kim referred to denuclearization amid and reaffirmed his shift in focus from nuclear weapons to rebuilding North Korean economy. Now, this visit came at an interesting time given the tensions between the U.S. and China. Now, the two countries are still struggling to negotiate an end to the long-term uh, trade war that's been going on. Experts say that Kim Jong-un's fourth visit to China was meant to send a message to Mr. Trump. Now, one that China and North Korea have strategic ties that Washington can't ignore. A South China Morning Post columnist says a resolution to the problem of a nuclear North Korea would be a diplomatic win that would serve Donald Trump, Xi Jinping and Kim Jong-un well and might soften U.S.-China rhetoric on trade, Taiwan and the South China Sea. Now, the issue of North Korea may still prove decisive in forming Trump's approach to China, considering how important this really is to him. On Tuesday night's uh, State of the Union, President Trump touted diplomacy with North Korea as one of his most significant accomplishments in office. As part of a bold new diplomacy, we continue our historic push for peace on the Korean Peninsula. Our hostages have come home. Nuclear testing has stopped. And there has not been a missile launch in more than 15 months. If I had not been elected President of the United States, we would right now, in my opinion, be in a major war with North Korea. Much work remains to be done, but my relationship with Kim Jong-un is a good one. Chairman Kim and I will meet again on February 27th and 28th in Vietnam. Scotty, with all these strategic issues like trade, Taiwan, and denuclearizing North Korea all tied together, it'll be really interesting to see how last night's Minuteman missile launch and other steps toward an arms race could possibly derail the foreign policy progress that President Trump has so heavily invested his time in. Now, Sarah, last night's launch was routine. It's something that happens often. However, we see this happen in foreign countries, and the response is usually they're trying to be aggressive or potentially trying to show strength. Have we seen this being reported that way in regards to the United United States reasoning. We haven't yet. This was an unarmed missile. Like you said, these practices, these routines take place all over the world, China, the U.S., especially in the South China Sea. Uh, but it hasn't been reported just yet. Well, let's hope that this continues to be a pathway towards peace to February 27th to 28th. Thanks for joining us, Sarah. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.